socks. Ow. All right. So I think I'm recording. You see a red, you're, you're not even looking at a red mark. Uh, there's a red mark right there. So I do feel like I'm really out of frame. It's okay. Um, yeah, uh, it's Charlie and Jason thing. This is kind of quaint. Like, it's kind of nice that we have the whole family well, together like this. Welcome back to Jean's Friday. My name is Jean, this is Friday. This is Spencer who's not wearing jeans. But he's wearing a sweater, and the sweater has a hood. So thank you for joining us uh, for this nice chat we're going to have. So is he gonna really be here the whole time? He'll hang out. Why? Is he? He, doesn't, he doesn't sound like he wants to be here. He's he can noises. he can go. He's not making noises. He's making noises. You breathe heavier than he's making he's noises making right noises. now. I know, which is why it's compounding. I gave you a pill. This is fine. Okay, he's chilling. We're chilling. People right. like that. People like animals. You get that cat in here, and we got. Actually, we get the kitty 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 kitty. That's the round dog. Up. Oh, here it comes. Kitty 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 kitty. Okay, well if you got one, I got one. Yep. Hey. Now they're just gonna be crying at each other. But, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, this is better. Okay. No, I got one. So I guess to start us in productive. Battle, battle, dun 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 dun. dun. You scratch. Whew. It's very effective. The cat, the cat will scratch on its own. You're okay, but you're okay. You're okay. The mean kitty won't get you. Put your hood on. All right. You right. stun screen. Psyduck uses confuse. All right. Um, so I'm your face is looking a little bit clearer. You took care of that uh, issue you had last week. What did I have? You had the you had the thing. Oh yeah. We got our beards going. You got our beards going. I haven't shaved since we shaved the beard, so it's growing back. I got a nice foundation layer, but I'll probably take care of it on Sunday. Because that's the Lord's Day. It did feel odd like when we were done though. Like after like it's shaved, like you feel like you don't need to shave for like three days. Yeah. Because in it but you still have like stubble, like it was weird. Yeah. Like I don't um, know if like if it delays like your shaving need. But I felt like I went an extra day than I usually do. Mm. Uh, how Actually. was how was the blood and the rawness and how do how do you do? I good. I, I buy good products, Charlie. Okay. I, I don't use just soap and then just a, a knife <laughs> and cut through it. I uh, I use a Mach three, but I have a very sensitive and plump uh, undercarriage, as we talked about last week, yeah. and uh, it gets diced a bit. You have to use a new blade or something. Um, I I finished off a blade doing this, but uh. Do you shave before shower or after shower? After. After. I do. I do before, but I try to get some steam going just to open up some stuff. I guess that's because my face face is already wet. Yeah, I got you. It's efficient. Um, but I do my legs before. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Only during the swimming season. Yeah. Excellent. Um, <laughs> this, okay. is this is awful. <laughs> no, Katie, don't go. This is why you can't have nice things. Alright, now get your dog out of here. He's fine. He is chilling. No, I don't have my cat. You don't have your dog. He'll come back. Um, okay. So that's wrapping up our last week's discussion. People are just entranced. And they wanted to know how did the beard off go. And uh, I think we won. I think we, we made it through November. Um, they said I was adorable. Um, but with kind of a, a bad boy sense. Yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I can see it. Yeah. Mm. I, can see it. I thought that was pretty good. Okay. Um, so we lost some people this week. Like, I'm not making fun of it at all. We, I didn't, we lost. Draft. What's that? No, you don't do jazz. Yeah, I don't do fantasy football, but we lost, uh, we lost Paul Walker and, uh, as of yesterday, Nelson Mandela. I, I'm not as familiar with Nelson Mandela's work, but um, I'm going to miss Paul Walker. He was 40. Can you believe that? Really? Yeah, 40 years old. I think he had, like, a teenage son, too. But oh. he was like one of those actors. Oh, see it. He was like one of those actors that like. Seriously, I guess I guess just anything goes. Yeah, I guess anything does go. Who is Ohio? We're gonna find out who Ohio is. This is Charlie. Is that your work? For safety reasons, it's Blue Cross. Please turn up if you are driving. 
Oh, uh, now we're driving! This, this hot should I do, should, Is this going to be funny or no? No, it's not, because they can barely probably hear. Okay, I, all right, just, just for that, Blue Cross doesn't get to know how they're doing, which is kind of terrible. Um, so we lost Paul Walker this week, and I'm kind of bummed about it. Because, uh, are you? I am! Are you bummed about it? He was like one of those actors, like, I'd see him and stuff, and he's like, I'd be like, my guy. Because just, he's all, like, text. Like, you can tell, like, there's nothing else going on in his mind, aside from <laughs> the words that are he's saying. And I'm not saying that like a bad thing. There's a, there's a time and a place for that. He's like, he, like, Eric has a similar, like, vibe to him. Like, just... Daniels? It's, yes. It's, like, very direct. Like, and he, like, believes what he's doing. But there's no, like, there's little acting talent, but there's, like, a lot of acting, like, commitment. Like, I'm doing this, man. Like, Do you when, think it's because, like, he has no, like, character personality? Like, that's his... He plays thing. himself, yeah. Okay. And, like, Spencer, no! Uh, when he was in... When he was in She's All That, like... This guy's a jerk, and that was his entire role. And was he? he she's all there. Yeah, he was the he was the guy who uh, oh. set up that bet for Freddie Prince Jr. Oh, that's him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he was in. Yeah, that's a good bet. That's a good bet. I could have never knew she'd be hot if she took off her glasses. <laughs> you should you should really do your homework then before you set that up. But he was uh yeah I'm gonna miss him man he was he always brought a smile on my face when he did stuff he was a lot like Mark Wahlberg or The Rock. Like, they would just get so excited and loud about stuff, but you could tell there's nothing else going on with them. But I don't know. He, he, brought, he brought me joy. I liked him in a Varsity Blues. I'm just sad I won't be able to finish the uh, series. Fast and the Furious? Yeah. They're going to make those, like, I think cars will die off before they stop making those movies. No, there's no way to do it anymore. They can't. They killed off, like, three characters in the last one, so... Unless it's they, del video. they delayed the movie indefinitely because he's already shot stuff for it. Oh, really? Yeah, because it was coming out like this July 4th. Um, it used to be Big Willie Weekend, and now it's uh, Fast and Furious Weekend. Um, and with the power of 3D. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I don't know how the respectful way to handle that. I. Uh, but they they killed um, the Asian guy, and uh, the girl died in. Uh, in the last movie, so I assume they just add them to the body count. But that's a tricky situation. And like those movies make like all of the money. That's true. Well, good luck, uh, Paul Walker's family, and um, thanks to the Fast and Furious franchise. Paul, I, I'll miss you in movies, man. Um, it's like a sad cast now. That's all right. He did a bunch of humanitarian stuff too, so he's like a real person. I can respect that. He's not like. Mm. Uh, an actor where like you're always like, hearing about him on like, tablets. How do you know so much about Paul Walker? Thank you. I don't think it's been hard to ignore on the internet this week, but <laughs> I, think he... okay. I don't know. Uh, All right, well I'm finishing good. up my Paul Walker, um, whatever this is. Hashtag Paul. Uh, yeah, my my Paul Sat cast. Um, write an obituary, either for you, me, or the dog. Okay. I'm gonna okay. Um, <laughs> so, I know I know who to write mine for. Yeah, so, rough week. And Nelson Mandela, um, you did a lot of great stuff, too. So, way to go. Um, you're both going to be next. Yeah. So, uh, until you have that up, um, talk about Fast and Furious reminds me, um, we both beat uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Spencer, I'm going to hurt you. One moment. <laughs> he said this would not distract him. <laughs> I bet the clickety clack of his nails are like throughout this entire thing. I think the the fact that we spent a half hour talking about Paul Walker is throwing off the whole thing. I specifically want to derail that. Okay. Uh, you got your obituary? Yeah. Okay. Wait, is my obituary? Or? For whoever you choose. Who's the obituary for? Um, okay, I'll let you guys figure yes. it out. Okay, I like it. Okay. Um, in memoriam, we would, we would like to wish a... A very terrible four-legged animal. Um, great luck in the afterlife. Um, and may you experience the true end of Tokyo Drift, wherever that may take you. Spencer, you were loved. So who was that about? I know me. Um, 
It's a mystery. We'll have to look okay. at the viewers comment with who you think Jason's obituary was about. Uh, the winner will actually die in the next episode. Okay. All right. So, so we, are, are we done with that? I mean, if you want to build on it, we can. Uh, we could, yeah, we could, talk, we could definitely talk some more about it. Okay. Obituaries. What do you want your obituary to say? I'll probably be the one right now. Um, it's not more what I want to say, but what I want to do. I want to have my like, casket up to like, a Facebook like webcam stream. Of your dead body? Or yeah. of it going in, of it being buried? Or what? No, no, like of me. So like, whenever somebody wanted to like, check up on me. Like, and how you're decomposing? So you'd need a light source <laughs> in there, too. You'd need a light source yeah. in there, too. Okay. Yeah. That, or like have a green screen behind it, so it's like I'm in the tropics or something. Okay. Yeah. Not to bring this back to Paul Walker, but one thing that was weird that... <laughs> Like, they had final updates on his Facebook and Twitter and stuff, like, saying, like, yeah, he's he's for real dead, and uh, he'll be missed and stuff. Like, how is that going to work when, like, we start dying? Like, on our social media um, stuff. I think just make him living something, and then you have somebody, like, take it over. How? We don't have publicists. What, like, yeah, I think you got to eventually put that into, like, your, your will. It's like, who do you want to take over your, like, Facebook ownership? Or... Or a company kind of takes it over and kind of like once a year sends something out. So when the doctor pronounces you dead, they also like do hashtag this guy's really dead. And then like that assigns all your stuff to the next of kin. Like all your passwords and stuff. Yeah, something like that. It probably has to be through a Facebook representative. And then you'd have to prove it. I, th I think like a social lifestyle management company, we could, we could put that together. Let's do it. Yeah. And so, like, when you get married, like, who's going to manage that couple's profile? That throws <laughs> me off, too. Oh, you mean... Because that's when two single people die, is during a marriage. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the death of two single people, and you become one. Well, let's, let's wait until we have the, the co-op. Facebook yeah. pages. Yeah. The tens. Or, or, maybe, or maybe we need to start combo in our Facebook pages, and that's how we... Uh, that's how we give it on, like you bequeathed your Facebook to your son or your daughter, you know? Yeah. And like when they're 13, dad, get off Facebook. I'm going to take your Facebook now and make it about me. And this thing has been handed down from generations. Do you think there'd ever be a motive? Like for like a murder? To like take someone to take over somebody's Facebook page? Only if they got a lot of followers? Yeah, yeah. like I need that. Why can't you die, dad? I need it. <laughs> or like YouTube channels? Yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, so we both beat Grand Theft Auto V. Did we want to talk about that at all? It's the I think that's the only game I've like beat this year. Ryan said there was a flying car, like a UFO car. I, I didn't catch that. I didn't do much of the side stuff. Um, side stuff. I did a lot of side stuff. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Um, what ending did you choose? What ending did I choose? Oh, I didn't kill either of them. Like, yeah. is, are you talking about like when you have yeah. to choose? I imagine that's the most popular ending. Yeah. So, in the final thing wasn't hard at all. It's, <laughs> it was, it was kind of anticlimactic. I did fail it like seven times because I wanted to do it a certain way. Yeah. And I wanted to use a rocket launcher. Yeah, that I tried using doing some trip kills, and that always gets me in trouble. Yeah. But overall, I like I like the game. It was a really good send off for like the system. I like the ending. The ending music was awesome. Oh yeah. That ending took like forever though. Like there's so many people worked on that game. But yeah, it was cool. It was the setup. I would have liked how they it's had you setup, switching. It's a setup, it's a setup, it's a now it's gonna get flagged by YouTube and <laughs> we can't use it because they're gonna detect that sound. Oh, perfect pitch! Why? <laughs> um, I liked how you could switch from between characters, but I wish they would have just given you a fourth guy who was just a normal guy who just had to observe all this chaos. And like you couldn't fight with him at all. Adapt your neutral party. Yeah. Or what if what if that fourth person was a cop? And Ooh. you just and you just you couldn't impact the missions, but you could just witness all the these <laughs> just hang out. All the issues, yeah. yeah. Like hang out in the worst city in the world. Is he itchy or something? Is uh, he he, he is wearing a sweater. Do dogs usually wear sweaters? Uh, he likes to wear one because he always thinks he's going on a trip when he puts it on or people are coming over. Okay. But this has been a kind of kind of an off day for him. And also, he did go in the cage twice, so he probably doesn't know what time of day it is right now. <laughs> the cage. Yeah. 
Let's work film in our next you episode. You throw him in and he watches uh, Gone 60 Seconds and Con Air. I should, I should. Rider. I should just start playing like death metal in there and see how that impacts him. Can't be any worse, can you? It might mellow him out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have like a dog TV station uh, that's got like special colors and sounds that dogs like. That sounds terrible. If they have an air nest stream, I'd try it. Um, Jason, do you have anything you'd like to talk about? It's not flowing like it did last time, but that's okay. <laughs>